Prime Minister Narendra Modi arrived in Delhi after completing his first state visit to the United States and Egypt, which spanned six days and included several agreements to promote cooperation in key areas such as trade and defence. While in Egypt, Prime Minister Modi met with Egyptian President Abdul Fattah al-Sisi, visited the pyramids of Giza in Cairo and Al-Hakim Mosque and held a round of talks with his Egyptian counterpart. He also received Egypt's highest state award. In America, Modi was hosted by Joe Biden at the White House for state dinner and met prominent American and Indian CEOs, including Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Prime Minister Narendra Modi chaired a cabinet meeting where Union Home Minister Amit Shah briefed him on the developments in Manipur. This comes a day after Shah met Manipur Chief Minister Bireen Singh in New Delhi as the state remains tense over continued violence between Maiti and Kuki communities. An all-party meeting was also held last week by Amit Shah to discuss the prevailing situation in Manipur. Union Finance Ministry has approved capital investment proposals of Rs 56,415 crores in 16 states in the current financial year 2023-24. Approval has been given under the Special Assistance to States for Capital Investment 2023-24 scheme. The projects include diverse sectors including health, education, irrigation, water supply, power, roads, bridges and railways. Jaljeevan Mission and Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadok Yojana. Addressing a national security enclave with a particular focus on Jammu and Kashmir in Jammu, Union Defence Minister Rajnath Singh said that national security is the government's top most priority and it is committed to protect the sovereignty, unity and integrity of the country. He also stated that Pakistan-occupied Kashmir is, was and will remain a part of India and Pakistan government will achieve nothing by repeatedly claiming POK. Days after United States former President Barack Obama's comments on PM Modi's instance on minorities in India, a former commissioner of the US Commission on International Religious Freedom, Johnny Moore, said that Obama should spend his energy complimenting India more than criticizing the world's largest democracy. He stated that India is the most diverse country and its diversity is its strength. Healing relations with India, U.S. President Joe Biden said that the friendship between the two nations is among the most consequential in the world. Taking to Twitter, Biden said the friendship between the United States and India is among the most consequential in the world. It's stronger, closer and more dynamic than ever. Responding to Biden's tweet, Prime Minister Modi said friendship between India and the U.S. is a force for global good. With a clear parliamentary majority, Kyriakos Mitsotakis has won a second four-year term as Greek Prime Minister. The leader of the Greek centre-right New Democracy Party, Mitsotakis, emerged victorious from the current elections with an overwhelming victory for his party. Heavy monsoon has wreaked havoc across Himachal Pradesh. As per State Disaster Management Department, six people lost their lives while around 10 people were injured and 303 animals also died. Popular tourist destinations such as Shimla, Manali and Dharamshala have been heavily affected by landslides and flash floods. Meanwhile, the India Meteorological Department predicted heavy to very heavy rainfall in Delhi, Maharashtra. Odisha, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Goa, Himachal Pradesh, Uttarakhand and the northeastern states. In a major operation, the National Investigation Agency conducted raids across multiple locations including Kulgam, Pulwama and Shopian in Jammu and Kashmir to investigate a terror funding case and a network of over ground workers who helped militants and terrorists with logistical support. Extensive searches had been conducted on several premises relating to members of the band Jamaat-e-Islami. 
The flood situation in Assam is improving gradually, but still nearly 2.72 lakh people in 15 districts are affected. There are currently no rivers overflowing their banks in the state, and the number of districts affected by the flood has come down to 14. Meanwhile, Union Home Minister Amit Shah has assured assistance to Assam Chief Minister Himanto Viswa Sarma in tackling the overall situation. He also stated that NDRF teams are already on the ground conducting relief and rescue operations while adequate forces are on standby. The National Investigation Agency has arrested a fourth accused in connection with the CPI terror funding case. The accused was arrested for working for the revival of the banned organization in Bihar's Maghad zone. According to the NIA, the accused identified as Anandi Paswan, alias Anand Paswan, has more than five criminal cases registered against him. This is the fourth arrest in connection with the terror funding network run jointly by CPI cadres and overground workers in the Magad region. The Minister for Youth Affairs and Sports, Anurag Thakur, inaugurated the newly constructed state-of-the-art BSF hockey turf ground at BSF campus, Jalandhar. Anurag Singh Thakur said that the newly constructed stadium received all necessary approvals from the Hockey Federation of India, ensuring compliance with international standards. He also highlighted the government's flagship program, Kelo India, and its continued efforts to promote and nurture sporting talent across the country.